Good morning, Bulldogs. I'm Gracie Davis. And I'm Anna Kelly. Welcome to your BNN News Show. This week, we'll be showing you more on hockey, National Honor Society inductions, soccer sectionals, choir, bullying prevention week, and ice skating. The National Honor Society inducted new members earlier this week. Let's see how it went. The National Honor Society inducted new members on Monday. BNN talked with Hussein Safudin to delve deeper into the process. So my responsibilities as a leader is uh, I'm an officer. So along with other officers and our president, Joe, we'd, we'd run the meetings. We'd make sure everybody's uh, on task, knows when the events are, and uh, keeps, uh, keeps up with their community service and their membership fees. Well, um, last year when I was inducted, it was a good feeling because it was like, it was a big accomplishment, kind of, like with a bunch of my friends, you know, we were all part of some nationally recognized organization, so it felt good. Um, as a person, I think, I, I think it's made me a, a better person, like as a whole, because like other clubs, they focus on one aspect, while National Honor Society like rounds you out as a person with like community service, and leadership and uh, other important life skills. I would definitely recommend uh, National Honor Society to other students, not just because it's a good like resume filler and looks good on college applications, but just because it makes you a better person and it's a really good leadership opportunity. Well, our induction was yesterday, so not like at the moment, but in the spring, you can fill out another form and apply if you're eligible. And of course, like for the juniors next fall, they'll be, they will be able to apply again. BNN also talked with Emma Smith to get their opinion on being inducted. I'm, I'm pretty happy about being inducted. I think it's a good thing to be a part of, and it looks good on college resumes and stuff, so it's, Nice. I think it'll give me good experience for the future. Um, it'll give me things to put on resumes and stuff like that. And it also just um, makes me a better member of society, I guess. <laughs> I would say that there's no downfall to it, so yes, I would recommend it to other students. Talk with Mr. Russell for more details. This is Seth Noonan reporting for BNN. The Ice Skating Club is preparing for upcoming competitions. Here's more about it. Ice Skating is preparing for their upcoming competitions. We spoke to Taylor Manley about her experience in ice skating. I saw my sister perform in the ice show that's here every April, and she did a really great job, and it made me really interested in figure skating. Um, being able to be your own person and performing and showing people what you're capable of doing. It has taught me how to be a good friend, it has taught me communication skills, it has taught me everything that I know today. I am going to skate every morning before school and every day after school and practice my program as much as I can. My goals for this season are to make it to final round at regionals and hopefully make it past sectionals. This is Jared Green reporting for BNN. The men's soccer team played against New Albany at sectionals on Tuesday. BNN takes a look at the results. Earlier this week, the North men's varsity soccer team defeated New Albany 4-0 in the first sectional game. Zach Friend, the center back on the team, gives us his opinion on the game. It gave us a lot of confidence last night. Our win really, um, we won 4-0, and so it just helps us have confidence going into the night and knowing that we can win. From last night's win, uh, we took away that we need to possess the ball more and hopefully finish our chances tonight because our offense was a little bit struggling. We just need to keep on our defensive principles and possessing the ball. To make it to the championship, we need to finish our chances and we need to step as a team. We need to come together on our defense, and I think we'll be all right. We'll make it far in the tournament. 
The team continued to the next game and triumphed over Seymour 5 to nothing. Forward player Alex McGill explains. Towards the end of the game, the team started moving the ball um, quite a bit better than we normally do, so I think that'll affect, that'll boost our confidence for East, and when we start off, we'll, we'll move the ball at that level rather than having a slow start like usual. I mean, we're just expected to work really hard defensively in our formation. The forwards have to defend and the defenders have to attack, so like, if we can do that, I think we'll be able to win. I think we need to, our number one goal is to get better at finishing. Like, I think our midfield and the defenders are fine just passing around, but once we get to the final third, we just have a hard time finishing a lot of the time. The next sectional game is this Saturday at 2 p.m. versus East and Seymour. Come support your fellow Bulldogs. This is Keith Wilson reporting for BNN. This week, Columbus North is doing its part to prevent bullying in high schools. Let's see how they're going about it. Then sat down with social studies teacher, Mr. Mahe, to get his thoughts about this week. We feel very strongly that raising awareness is the first step. And when we have conversation, uh, people think about the issue more and are probably more willing to recognize that it, it is a problem that exists and something that we need to take care of. At times, yes. Um, you know, Columbus North as a school enjoys a very uh, wide diversity in, in the students and um, <clears throat> while that is a, a beautiful thing, it, it also can uh, lead to these situations and that's why we feel very strongly about um, raising awareness and doing anything we can to prevent bullying because uh, by nature it, it has a tendency to occur. This is our actually our second year for the banner um, program and the ribbons that we've been handing out. Uh, on a national level it, it's uh, been going on for a few years. We have a national week dedicated to the prevention of bullying, so we've, we were able to uh, tie into that ourselves through PBIS and uh, draw more people into you know, this issue. This is Nick Holt reporting for BNN. The Columbus Iceman season is currently underway. BNN provides an update. BNN sat down with junior Cole Grady to talk about the Iceman's upcoming season. Um, I think the Iceman will probably be close to maybe 3A. How oh, about 4A? So like 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A. We lost a lot of seniors and have a lot of freshmen now. So. Uh, last season, we, was like, uh, we were pretty selfish with the puck. The Icemen take on Carmel Gold on Sunday, October 22nd at 12 p.m. This is Brandon Agnew reporting for BNN. The North Choir concert transpired this past Wednesday. BNN delves deeper into the topic. This week, the North Choir performed their first concert. BNN talked with Kaz Gambrel to learn more about it. Well, I'm most excited for is uh, doing all the songs that we've been practicing in class. And the songs that my choir is doing are Bon Siaba, uh, Deep River, and one that all the choirs are doing is no rocks and grind. I think we have all the songs down, so it's all sounding good, so. I think Janie will be happy with what, <laughs> what, what we have uh, prepared and what we're about to sing for tonight. 
uh, so far it's worked pretty good, so as long as it's keep going like this, it'll go smooth and well. This is Hallie Schwartzkopf reporting for BNN. That's it for today, Bulldogs. I'm Gracie Davis. And I'm Anna Kelly. Have a great weekend. If you would like an announcement on the show, please email us at nhs underscore communications at bcse.k12.in.us. BNN is a proud partner of CNHS Media at Columbus North and Columbus, Indiana. All music is provided by American Music Company.